Hi, today we have an iPhone 6 that has no sound at all. Uh, plus, that, is th that it has no sound, uh, it can't record any sound also. So, I'm gonna show you first. I'm gonna go to the settings, to the sound, and play any sound. So, as you can hear, I can hear the vibro but no sound at all and as you can see it, it gets glitchy sometimes and I can't even regulate the sound as you can see it's just not working smoothly so also when you go to the as you can see I'm hitting the home button and it's not getting out Okay, so now it's out the home screen and now we are gonna go to the recorder and hit the record button and as you can see it's, it's glitchy, it's not, it's not working at all. Uh, nothing happens and even if I hit the, hit the home button it doesn't go to the... Oh yeah, so it's gone now. So uh, yeah, that's, that's a problem and uh, there is no sounds at all. Even if I plug it in the charging, uh, plug it to charge, it doesn't play any sound, just says it's charging. So, uh, I think this is a, an audio codec chip problem and we are gonna check this out and see if it's really the audio codec chip. So, I'm gonna remove the board and try to replace the audio chip and see if this is our problem okay so now we're gonna look under the microscope see if there is any kind of damage that we can't see but if we can't see anything we're gonna try to replace the audio chip I don't see anything weird. The chip itself, it's not cracked. If it was cracked, I think the phone would be shorted, fully shorted the ground, but I can't see anything like that here. So I guess that's it's an internal problem. So let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna take out this cable so it doesn't get damaged.
So after we replace the audio chip or the audio codec chip, it's finally working as you can hear the sound and now we are gonna try to record something. One to three test test one to three. As you can see it's working perfectly without any problems. One to three test test one to so yeah and now we are gonna go to the sounds in the system. Everything looks good and working and the problem here is it wasn't only the audio codec chip. Uh, I have made a jumper wire. Uh, so there was one pad that was uh, not connected to the uh, audio amplifier for the speaker, the lower speaker. So uh, that's, that was the main problem. So this, as you can see, this is the jumper wire that I've done. Uh, sorry I didn't take pictures of how it goes under the chip, but it goes, uh, there is a pad here, right here, and it goes from underneath the chip, and all the way here, here, I tried to hide it as much as I can so it doesn't pop up and uh, do anything short or something like that, goes here, here, like that, until the audio amplifier chip, which is uh, responsible for the work of the uh, lower uh, speaker, the loudspeaker, and it goes all the way to here. There is a pad here, and I have done this jumper underneath this chip, and it's soldered to this chip. So yeah, uh, there is a bend in the board. And that's why I have needed to do this massive jumper wire. I'm gonna show you underneath. Uh, I'm gonna show you on the schematics how, uh, where is the where is the spad uh, underneath the audio amplifier chip and where it's underneath the audio uh, codec chip. So yeah, this is it. The most important important thing that it worked. The phone is back in work, uh, and I found out that this phone was bent right here, and this body was replaced. So basically, this is this is why it's, it wasn't working. It's not the chip. It's the uh, missing pad or not connected pad between the audio codec chip and the audio amplifier so yeah that was the problem that uh, is with this phone and uh, this is how I fixed it and thanks for watching hope you learned something and see you next time